Suzanne's spring collection is especially beautiful this year so I couldn't resist placing an order and I have to say there's a lot more colour than you would usually expect from someone like me and neutral lovers at heart but I really couldn't help myself because I'm loving all of these really soft muted tones and I find they work really well with my complexion. Now I thought we could start this month's brow review with a specific item from Suzanne that I would generally tend to overlook and it's their knitwear that has polyamide in it. I haven't had the best experience in the past however these two styles just really captured my attention and I decided to give it another shot to see how I went. And I'm going to start with the one that is my favourite and it's not only the colour but it's also the cut and the really chunky collar. So this is called the Emile cardigan and as you can see I've got it in this really soft seafoam green. This is a blended fabric so it has in it alpaca, polyamide and wool. So you will find it is very textured and if you do have sensitive skin this will tickle ever so slightly so do keep that in mind and this is something I do find true of any of their pieces that have kid mohair in it. A huge draw card for me with Cezanne is the elegant femininity of all of their different designs and also the attention to detail. So you can see here that the resin buttons are in the same colour as the actual yarn for the knit itself. I really like the actual overall fit of it, how it has those really beautiful balloon sleeves with the bracelet length cuff uh, and it is very boxy in terms of the fit so this I find looks best if you're doing a bit of a French tuck in the front or you fully tuck it in though that will leave a lot of bulk around your waist because it is really really thick. This has a really nice thickness in terms of the yarn so it's something that's going to be a good transitional season piece but also work well in the winter months as well and as mentioned it does have a bit of texture to it. One thing I wasn't sure was whether or not it would shed and it doesn't really appear to though there are quite a few fibers and I suspect over time that they may be something that you notice. I opted for my true size which is a size small. I have all my sizing information down in the description box and yeah I think this is one I'm going to keep but I want to know what you think so let me know in the comment section below. Actually I want to know what you think I should keep and what you think I should return. <laughs> The other knitwear piece I added to my cart is called the Basile Cardigan, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, and this one again I also opted for in the size small. This is very similar to the Emile, so it has the exact same composition, it has the same texture, hand feel, same also weave to the yarn, the only difference being the actual cut of the style. So it is a v-neck style, has those beautiful matching buttons here which are really really stunning, and I think you can kind of see the colour was really what made it for me has those beautiful balloon sleeves with the bracelet length cut and again another really boxy fit. You can see in the cutaways I'm wearing this just with a bra so for modesty you may like to wear a camisole or a t-shirt underneath but I think this is really beautiful and I can totally understand the appeal of these sweaters and I have to say I feel like I am about to break one of my biggest rules when it comes to shopping from Cezanne which is no knitwear with polyamide but yeah I want to know your thoughts should I keep one of them or should they both go back? And then I think we need to dive into a bit more colour with this phenomenal suit which again I just I mean how good is this blue and of course in the Lulu pant as well which I actually have the Lulu pants in the black. I'm going to start with the blazer first but obviously designed to be worn as a set together but also can be worn as separates. So this is called the Michelle blazer and it is a linen and viscose blend so a really good option for the warmer months also fully lined. You can see the fabric is really visually interesting because it has all of the kind of hallmarks of a twill however it also has a slight nubby texture to it and of course the fabric covered buttons I just feel like Cezanne thinks of everything. I ordered this in a size 30 which is a US 4 or an AU 8 and I actually made a mistake I meant to order it size up as I've tried some of their other jackets before and I've just found they feel a little bit snug but this is a very relaxed fit so I would recommend staying true to size if you're taller or if you are more petite then you might like to size down one and of course it does have the little vent at the back which if you don't know you do need to cut these stitches once you decide to keep the item but I just feel like this is such a beautiful jacket also with those patch pockets on the front and in this lovely cerulean blue I mean divine then the matching trousers so I have the Lulu pants in a 36 US 4 AU8 already and I went with the same size here but they actually fit enormously large I actually found that I need to size down at least a size maybe even two sizes depending on how large they cut because for me this should be more of a mid to high rise trouser what I like about the Lulu is that there is no zip closure on the front so you have this very nice flat finish the closure is actually on the side and it's seamless as well has pockets 
the little belt loops with the button detail so sweet I really like that and no pockets at the back either so there's no additional bulk there so you just have this really nice seamless line these are very very long so if you are petite or even myself at 172 centimeters tall do need to get them tailored um, because there is a lot of fabric there so this is a really good option for tall girls who struggle to find trousers that actually are long enough for their legs. I do feel like this color is actually reasonably easy to wear and if you wanted to do a tonal look you could easily pair it back to that Basile cardigan that I shared earlier. Uh, but yeah that is the fourth item then I think maybe we should talk about some accessories and I added a pair of shoes to my cart and I have to say I mean how divine is the shoe box this is new because my other ones are all just a plain cream and I mean this alone makes me want to keep these shoes let me actually show you what they are so these are called the Natasha low sandals and to me these are very vintage inspired they kind of feel like the sort of shoe you would be wearing at the French Riviera with that beautiful braided woven detail which sort of hugs the outer part of your foot you can kind of see that it's quite low cut in the front uh, one of the details I really liked, which I don't think is on any of my other Cezanne shoes, is that they actually have this non-slip sole, which I've never seen this before on a leather shoe, and I really, really like that detail. I will say that I have found the leather to be a little bit stiff just from trying them on, so I'm not 100% sure if they would be comfortable, and I've had very mixed experience with Cezanne shoes. I'm going to share a couple of others which are really comfortable and very, very different leather to this, but because it is quite thick and robust, I sort of worry that it might give me some blisters. So I did want to point that out, but they're so beautiful and they do come in a high heel version as well. I went with my usual size, which is a US 9, UK 7, if you're on the Australian side, or French 40. And I find that Cezanne shoes run a full size large when it comes to French sizing, as I would usually be a 41 and brands like Isabel Morant. So I hope that helps in terms of querying for shoes. And all three pairs of shoes that I'm gonna share with you today are all in the same size. I feel like I should talk about another accessory before I move on to another clothing piece and I thought we could discuss the Milo Classic Bag. Now I've actually done a full review over on my blog so I'm going to leave a link to that down below with lots of close up details which hopefully will be really helpful. But to me on first glance this is a really good more budget friendly option to the Celine Classic Box Bag uh, in terms of the actual kind of look and feel. So what's happened is Cezanne have updated their Milo bag which has the toggle closure to have this beautiful brass buckle which I personally prefer and it sort of gels a bit more with my personal style. Uh, essentially you press that, opens up, it's one large compartment and then there's also a smaller compartment at the back and at the front here which you could probably put in some papers, receipts, that sort of thing. There's a zip up closure, two pockets and then there's also a slip pocket on the back. I mean you could fit your phone in there but if you've got things in the back you're not going to be doing that. It's a really reasonable size for every day which I like and I think one of my favorite details is actually the strap because it's really unique in terms of how it fastens. It has these snaps so that you can adjust it to three different lengths. So you can wear it cross body or you can have it at two shorter lengths to wear on the shoulder. And I have the natural heritage leather and I do want to point out that if you're opting for the black or this kind of more rich ready brown that you will find it is going to show signs of wear that is just typical of the leather that they've chosen which is very delicate it's smooth it feels really beautiful against your hands quite kind of buttery but that means that it's also prone to getting damaged a lot more easily or at least just showing all those signs of wear and tear like I got a scratch on this the very first time I used it and I was being really careful too and since then it's got other little indentations over the kind of course of the past month that I've been wearing it so I did want to flag that I don't mind because I think that when you're adding a bag like this to your wardrobe you're doing it with the intention of it having that more worn aged appearance but if you want something that is going to look really pristine but you like this bag I would recommend opting for the blue or the python versions just because they look like they're a lot more hard wearing uh, but a really beautiful bag really really classic and one that I'm so thrilled to have on rotation I think the color is really stunning too it seems to go with absolutely everything so Cezanne have launched what I believe is called the 
editions collection on their website which is all these beautiful dresses for going out and suits and I was really drawn to so many items and there was one I had to try and it's called the Eloise dress and it is in this lovely ver green I mean how stunning this just makes me think of spring it is so vibrant and it has this very subtle polka dot effect to it which you'll probably be able to see in the cutaways it has the v neckline very classic slip dress style in the front and then at the back it does sort of have this crossover lace up detail which i couldn't really get to sit quite right on me and i'm not sure if it's because the style maybe runs large so again i opted for the french 36 aua us4 and i found that i had quite a bit of room around the bust after i fastened it so you do have the adjustable straps but it does mean that it's going to pull up that tie detail at the back so for me it just felt a little bit fussy and you do need someone to really help you to put this on if you want it to lay right and that's one thing i'll mention uh, it does have a little zip up closure at the back but I think the silhouette of it is really really beautiful the way it has this sort of movement it makes me think a little bit of a ballerina um, and I just feel like this would be a really fun dress to go dancing in so maybe if you had a wedding and you were looking for a dress this could be a pretty option with a little blazer or something like that thrown over the top to kind of cover you up at night when it starts to get a bit cooler let's do another pair of shoes and I thought we should touch on my Vicky loafers because I bought these back in was it October last year I've had them for quite a while but I don't really feel like I've talked about them that much so I from on Instagram to say that these are incredible and if you've been thinking about it then you may like to splurge on them uh, they come in quite a few colors so they come in a white there's a saddle brown and then there's also kind of a lipstick uh, red color and I opted for the classic black obviously and for me what I like is the chain detail across the vamp and also the fact that there is this very visible stitching uh, around the toe as well which to me feels quite sort of heritage and I think very classic and timeless. The leather on these is so incredibly soft and supple and they do have quite a bit of cushioning and support in the sole too which I like and the heel is basically non-existent but it does give you a little bit of lift. Again these fit true to size so same size as the sandals that I shared with you earlier. These will give you zero blisters. I found them incredibly walkable and they're the kind of shoe that I know that I can throw on and be able to walk around in all day and feel very, very comfortable and supported. All right, so I think that this actually might be one of my favorites out of everything that I added to my cart and it's incredibly simple. So this here is called the Pippa Dress. It is a cotton stretch short sleeve dress, has the uh, cuff details here and it's a midi length two slits on the sides and then the thing that really makes this special is the tie detail at the front. To me it just kind of cinches you in in the most elegant way and it feels just really feminine and it really elevates what is otherwise an incredibly simple piece, a t-shirt dress. And often I find the very classic idea of a t-shirt dress is just too shapeless for me so having that little cinch detail at the waist is the thing that really kind of makes this one a hit in my books. I got it in my usual size small and would say it does fit true to size but you could go down a size if you wanted it to fit really snugly around the waist. Final item to share you will have seen over on my Instagram quite a bit are the Lena Low Boots. So these ones again I added to my wardrobe. When did I buy these? I think maybe either at the start of the year or at the end of last year uh, and I just wanted a really nice heavy leg sole boot. Unfortunately, I no longer have my port and pair boots in my wardrobe and I was looking for something that would take their place and these felt like a really good alternative. They have the really high gusset detail on the sides and the pull at the back too, which makes them easier to put on. These would be great if you live somewhere where it gets a bit mucky because the sole of the boot has a lot of tread and mind the cutaways but I did think it important to show you uh, just in case you have been considering these. The leather on these is the same as the Vicky. It is so soft. It does have a bit of robustness around the toe. It just feels a little bit more structured there but again a boot that I have not gotten a single blister when wearing them. They're very very comfortable and they do fit true to size. They're probably a little bit more roomy and I would say that's to accommodate socks so again another one that I would recommend and I personally like styling these more with feminine dresses and also with trousers that I can sort of tuck in to create more of a ballooned trouser effect I think that that looks really fun and chic so yeah those are the Lena low boots if you do have any specific questions about them or any of these items uh, then just drop those down in the comment section below thank you so much for spending some of your day with me as I ran through this Cezanne spring review I always enjoy sharing these videos as I know many of you love shopping from Cezanne as much as I do 
and I imagine it's quite obvious how in the mood for colour I've been lately based on the items that I decided to add to my cart. I mean, these cardigans in particular are just stunning. So I'd love to know which of these items you would keep and permanently add to your wardrobe and which ones you think that I need to send back. Please let me know in the comment section. If you're new here, I would also love to have you back. I share lots of brand reviews and also styling advice and tips. So please do subscribe and I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching. See ya. Bye.